Hi Divas, uh, coming to you with a, a quick review. I want to do some review um, and a little haul. I want to share with you really quick what I picked up last night. And I also want to talk about this product that I use. Uh, it's called Soy. It's a soy or, or, uh, organic. It's a little stuff that I use to put in my son's and my hair today. It smells really divine. I love the smell of it. I got to pick this up. They sent this with our uh, love. The week I received, excuse me, from um, NY Hair Mall, and this here is a packaging. I will be discussing this a little bit later in another video, and I'm going to see if any beauty supply stores carry it, so that I give you guys in some more input and information on what I pick up this product and the cost and what it does for your entire hair. Anyway, um, I mentioned earlier about my, my uh, natural hair how long it's gotten I just got it up to, I mean I got it fro style today and I wanted to yeah yeah there share it with you um, the lipstick I got from Dollar General this is by Wet n Wild and it's in the color um bear with me I'm gonna grab my glasses because I need to be wearing them like I'm supposed to be wearing them stubborn as I am at times okay this here is by Wet n Wild and it's in the color Cherry. Sorry, Cherry Bomb. And number is 918D. And this here was at Dollar General. Really pretty, like a really pretty dark red burgundy. Red. And that's really pretty. Um, I plan on doing a look with this with a neutral eye a look. I had some on earlier, but I said I wanted to rock my uh, MAC MAC uh, lipstick that I got recently and this here is in the color um, heroin and I love this purple it's really pretty um, so yeah I want to get a lot of purple too this is a light purple but it's got a, a kind of a dark undertone and so yeah um, that is heroin and I really really like this lipstick it's really really smooth <laughs> it's supposed to be a MAC lipstick but it seems to be in my opinion it's kind of like a satin finish it may I think when it when you apply it, it kind of max up a little bit but it still kind of feels like a satin finish on my lips if that makes sense <clears throat> um, I also got a few favorites for December um, fit me foundation from Maybelline and number 340 I love this lip this um, foundation I picked up this foundation at my CVS uh, drugstore I think it was seven dollars for this bottle this is one of my favorites I like the way it applies as well as the finish on um, my face that I use as well um, I also have my L'Oreal Luminous Mascara that I also have really really love so much. I like the way it makes my eyelashes look when I apply it. And you guys have seen this. This is another one of my favorites. This is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. It's been in my favorites for quite some time but I still love this. Uh, what's wrong? Okay leave it alone. It'll come off on its own. Okay? It's a, a really really good product to use when you're applying your makeup and stuff. Um, a lot of divas know about Ben Nye. Um, I want to order the other two colors. I think Topaz. Um, I can't remember offhand all the other colors in my head. But if you guys are interested, I will post links below so you guys can check out those uh, fibers. Wet and Wild Fantasy Palette. Yes, ma'am. Yes, indeed. I absolutely love this damn palette. Hands down, love this vanity palette. Um, I didn't want to go through the color so quickly because I plan on ordering me another one. I think I'm going to put an order in another for uh, two more of these so that I can have them on hand. Um, I got the L'Oreal eyeliner, uh, marine blue. This is another really, really, really favorite of mine. I like how creamy this eyeliner is. I like the black one, but it's starting to look like it's starting to dry out as well. And this is the Maybelline. Um, when it's still it's still good it's still good but uh, the blue is real creamy 
and it's really pigmented. Um, it looks black, but it's actually a dark, dark navy blue. And another favorite is the lips, the lip chap lipstick. Uh, I call it for that. It's the baby, and this is by CoverGirl. Or no, Maybelline. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a Maybelline product um, that I picked up at Dollar General, and I, I plan on getting some more of them. I just got one right now because they're quite pricey at the store. In my opinion, I think they're like three or four bucks, or well, it could be six bucks for all I know, but I think it's about four bucks at the most. But it might be a little bit more because Maybelline's price, I mean, baby, it, basically, they're high priced products. They name like Maybelline Cover Girl. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's just, it's, it's just a little pricey. This here is also a part of my December favorites. I really like this. I like how it keeps my lips moisturized during the day. And when I get ready to go and exfoliate my lips, which I will share with you on camera, how I picked that up. I also picked that up. I know uh, Andrea's Choice, she uh, did that. And it really, it kind of gave me an idea to do it for myself. And uh -oh. she's uh, really good at what she does, some of the things she does. Also, I have um, another favorite. And this is the Hot Candy Concealer that I use. Um... From, I got this from Walmart, but it's also product of Heart, uh, Heart Candy. And I don't, I forget the color of this, but it's a really good concealer. And I think it's almost gone. And I use it on my brows as well as under my eyes as a highlight. Um, and my last but not least, I have uh, this bronzing powder. And this foundation, this is a L'Oreal uh, Matte True Match Foundation in the color Soft Sable, and the code is six C six. Sorry, and I picked this also up at my Dollar General as well as the Wet n Wild um, Bronzing Powder. This is in Bikini Cut. I know I just recently bought this in December, but honey, I like the way it gives my feet, my face a little bit more of a. Uh, when I'm highlighting in certain spots, I like how it gives my face a little bit more of a. Uh, I like contouring it. I like how it contours. If that makes sense. Sorry, I'm all over the place. And for my brushes, have mercy. I like all of my brushes from RC Cosmetics. I placed the order for these. Um, I think in like middle of January, and I got them. I got all of them. I just uh, I love them, uh, especially the blending brush. This blending brush is is the business. It gets all of my blending handle real good. I love how this blending brush works. Hands down, best blending brush I've owned. And it doesn't have to have a MAC name on it. It doesn't have to have any that this is RC Cosmetics. I got all of my brushes for $17.95 at that company, RC Cosmetics. I will post a link below. They got really sturdy brushes. They work just as well as any Sigma brush or any other brush. Excuse me. What? In a minute. Okay. Everybody in? Yeah. Okay, sorry guys. Now I've got some better lighting. <laughs> so as I was studying before, I got the contouring brush that I use as well as the blush. And this is also <clears throat> also an RC Cosmetics. And this is their name on the brush. Doesn't have a number, a particular number. Can y'all keep the noise down, please? And I also have this a concealer brush I use to also do some concealing on my under my um, lid as well as under my brows okay I use that and another end of the brush this here is my eyeshadow brush that I plan to make up with <clears throat> another dirty right now I clean. and this is like my crease brush blending brush for the crease love this one angle brush for applying my when I do my brows and as well as that as underneath my eyes as well as sometimes I use that for applying my liner for my eyes and I have the lip brush that I am so infatuated with but I have I use it when I need to put on or apply any type of lip gloss or lipstick that it's impossible to get this time but I'm sorry about the noise guys keep it down please and um this NYX gel pencil in dark brown yes 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 it's good for smoky eye I love it I love how it, it goes on and stays put when I get ready to blend it out or whatever it's, it's well blendable and I also love the fact that I, it goes good on my skin tone um, I will do a demonstration for 
you guys on this smoky brown eye because I want you Davis to see how easy it is to apply nude eye and like I said this here is my look and I use my Lorette palette I didn't do a tutorial on this one today but I do have one I already did a tutorial on and I will upload that soon I've been having some issues with my windows meter uh, player I'm sorry movie maker and it's been tripping so um, I'm trying to get that view up to that and know it's not a new video just there for the same video but you will have that look so you ladies can pick up that um that that palette <clears throat> you know the only thing I hate with that being that I it, the colors are so pretty but they're light colors um I have the primer that they sent me and this is the eye primer it does help and it is very the eyeshadow is very stable if that, that makes sense so yeah I like the palette a lot um but I, in general I think there could be a little bit more tones that you can put together outside of the box I will talk about that in another video but that's um that this here is not a December pack well I actually bought it in December and just got it for yesterday but I'm going to add this to my favorites today I love this one and my last thing I'm going to show you guys is the um, if I can find it give me a minute guys I love my sugar pill palettes but those uh, okay, I gotta find it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place here. Yeah, I have another video that I'm gonna be doing, a demonstration of that mask for you guys. There we go. Sorry about that. This here is another favorite of mine, Take Me to Brazil palette. As you guys can see, I've had pretty much fun with hit pan on most of the colors. Okay. And this here I picked up at BH Cosmetics. Can you wait a minute, please? Don't take up for a little milk, please. But yes, guys, I'm sorry about everything. I'm going to go ahead and get off here because I can't concentrate with all this freaking noise. And I definitely need to be able to have you guys' attention without all the noise. So I apologize in advance, but I do have kids. And uh, sometimes it's hard to. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.